secret chord that David played and it pleased the Lord but you don't really care for music do you it goes like this the fourth the fifth the minor fall in the major lift the baffled king composing hallelujah Everybody. My name is Danny Cottle. I'm going to show you how to play Hallelujah by Leonard Cohen. Okay, uh, let's get into it and I'm going to write out the chords here. And a little intro. And then the verse goes, that's the intro. The verse goes. Okay, uh, about this song real quick. Um, what this is made of uh, is of a repeating three phrase uh, chord progression. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna do this by phrases. Okay, so we're gonna learn three phrases here, and um, <clears throat> what we're gonna do is we're gonna do phrase phrases here. Okay, this is gonna be phrase one. Um, okay, so let me uh, show you how these chords are played right here, or show you what they look like. So here's a C. A minor seven, because <clears throat> that open note. Um, let's go to F. And then a G. Okay, that's phrase one, <clears throat> and we got the repeated chords, okay? So, I heard, okay, so the intro first, okay, let me go over these chords real quick before I start uh, singing through the song, okay? So for the C chord, my ring finger is on the third fret on the A string, my middle finger is going to be on the D string on the second fret. Open G string. My first finger is going to be on the B string. Okay, my first finger is on the B string on the first fret, and then open E string. And that's what that shows you right there. Now the difference between a C chord and an A minor chord is we do a C chord, and all we do is we just let go of our ring finger. That's an A minor seven. C, A minor seven. Okay, if you're comfortable with doing that. Um, what you can do is you can do a walk down for the intro. So I'll go three. My thumb here. I'm going. I I do both. Where I, I go with my thumb like that. Or I use my fingers too because these three fingers. These four fingers will go on the middle four uh, stri strings here, so we're not u touching either of the E strings. And then I just peel my fingers off, and I go thumb first, middle ring, middle first. But I'm actually not hitting my first when I'm doing the walk down. 
So I'm going thumb first, middle ring, middle thumb, thumb. First, middle ring, middle thumb, thumb first. So that, okay, so that's for the intro. Uh, and then for the bar chord. Um, I've got my first finger on the low E string on the first fret, ring finger on the A string on the third fret, my pinky on the third fret on the D string, my middle finger is on the G string on the second fret, and then my first finger finishes off uh, the B and high E string on the first fret. All right. Okay, now G. A G is the same pattern of the third fret. Okay. I put it here a different way, um, just so I didn't do the same pattern, which could be confusing. So you can do F to a G, or you can do F to a G, because they both have the same bass note. And this is part of the cage system, where this is the G and the E pattern. That's the E pattern right there. Okay, a different different topic um, that is okay so and I use both uh, there's not a right way or wrong way to do it it's whatever you prefer and that's why these videos are set up is how I play it because this is just how I play it you can play these songs any way that you want to okay now that we got the first phrase uh, let's go to the second phrase okay so write down these chords if you need to because I'm gonna erase it right now <clears throat> okay, so this is going to be phrase two. It goes like this, the fourth, the fifth, the minor fall, in the major lift, the baffled king composed, hallelujah. Okay, that's the second phrase. Okay, there's two, two parts about this that I want to uh, highlight. One is the new chord, which is the E7. cool chord and um, it leads right into the A minor um, so we got a C chord to an F chord to a G to A minor G A minor F G E7 so for E7 my middle finger is on the second fret on the A string my uh, D string is open. My first, okay, for the, okay, my first finger here is on the first fret on the G string. My pinky is on the fourth, third fret on the B string. And then there's an open high E string. I could be writing these out. So that, those are the fingers that I'm using. So uh, four is my pinky, two is your middle finger, and then one is your index finger. Okay. Now um, the lyrics here match what's happening in the harmonic analysis of the song. Okay, because these chords function um, th this way in the key of C. Okay, so, meaning that we have.
Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. It's also eight for octave. It's also do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. Okay, what we're doing is we're just building a chord off of off of do, which is also we can turn the numbers into Roman numerals. Okay, so what we get, what they're saying is it goes like this, it goes like this, the fourth, the fifth, the minor fall, and the major lift, the baffled king composed. Five of five. Oh, five of six. Grapes. Six. Okay. Five always wants to go to one. Okay. So five of six wants to go to six. A five of four wants to go to four. A five of five wants to go to five. Okay. So that's why it's such a strong. That's why this is such a strong, a strong uh, point in the song where that's the emotional part, is because we're pulling a key from. This is altered, okay? So this is like a special chord because the five of five. It's outside of the key, and because um, it has a G sharp in it, and because um, there's no sharps or flats in the key of C. That's what makes this relationship here with the A minor and the E7, so powerful. <clears throat> okay, so that's cool, okay? So that's, so we can see that four, five, six, four, five, six, crazy popular. All you gotta do is um, learn a couple chords and then you can play everything, okay? If, you, if, I need, if I can explain anything to you about that part, let me know because it's easy once you get it, okay? <clears throat> so write down the chord. I'm going to erase this and move to the third phrase. <clears throat> okay, third phrase here. Yeah. Okay, third phrase goes... Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. That's it. That's the entire song. So we put a repeat here because once we finish up with this part, we just go right back to the beginning. And there should be right here, we should put an intro because you can do that little riff if you want to do it. Okay, now I'm going to show you with the, f with the f first, second, and third phrases, all you got to do is just sing the song now. Just pull it up on Google, Hallelujah Lyrics, and... <clears throat> write out the chords that I just gave you and uh, um, I'm gonna go through the song second verse here your faith was strong but you needed proof you saw her bathing on the roof her beauty in the moonlight overthrew you and play with me okay if you if you got it play the song with me with your guitar she tied you to her kitchen chair She broke your throat and she cut your hair And from your lips she drew Hallelujah 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 Okay, what else you can do is you can you can 
pluck this any way that you want. You can strum it, you can do bass. Right? Oh. So I'm gonna just kind of work through some patterns, or if I feel like strumming or plucking or doing anything, I'll just do it. All you gotta do is just follow the chord progression. Right? Just you gotta play the patterns here. Baby, I've been here before. I know this room and I've walked this floor. You know I used to live alone before I knew you. I've seen your flag on the marble arch, and love is not a victory march. It's a cold, it's a broken. time when you let me know what's really going on below but now you never show that to me do remember when i moved in you and the holy dove was moving too and every breath we drew was hallelujah That's why you change up the picking and all that stuff, and then you can add solos in there where you just follow the form. Okay, uh, if you've got any questions about anything, please let me know. I appreciate you guys watching, and uh, before I go, if you're still watching, I probably wouldn't erase this. Just that part, and just do the one, two, three, okay? Um, I hope this helps you guys out. Um, keep playing, keep practicing, and get to work, okay? Thank you.